The Water of Life Once upon a time, there was a king who fell very ill, and no doctor from any kingdom could find the remedy for his recovery. They believed that he would not live long to see the light of the day. Uh, where are my sons? I want them by my side. The king had two sons. The elder one, William, was hungry for power and wanted to inherit the kingdom. The younger one, Harry, however, was kind and innocent. He cared for everyone and loved his father the most. How is father? We tried our best. Now only a miracle can save his life. Meanwhile, William was in love with a girl called Miranda. He spent his days with her and told her about everything that went on in his life. You know, sweetheart, I really want to become my father's favorite, but I just feel he loves Harry more. <sighs> I just hope he doesn't inherit the throne instead of me. You and only you shall become the king, my love. How are you so sure? Because I know just the way for you to win your father's heart. Take this potion of my grandmother. Make him drink this and he will nurse back to health. Oh, dear. You are the only one who understands me. Once I become the king, I promise to make you my queen. Oh, sweetheart. You love me so much. But William did not know that Miranda was not after his heart, but something else altogether. <laughs> what a fool! Meanwhile, Harry was heartbroken as he could not see his father in pain. He had been praying sincerely for his beloved father's recovery. Oh, angels! Please show me a way to nurse him back to health. That is when an angel appeared in the guise of an old sage and noticed Harry weeping. What ails you, young prince? Who are you? I am a sage who roams around kingdoms seeking knowledge. I noticed you crying so decided to stop by. Is there any way I can help you? My father, the king, is very ill, and doctors say no medicine in the world can make him recover. I know of a remedy that you will find in a cave above which the moon shines brightly. It is located several kingdoms away, and the pass has numerous obstacles. It is called the Water of Life. How do I go there? I can travel miles and face any obstacle to nurse my father back to health. Thus, the sage gave the directions of the Water of Life to Harry. Harry left in the quest to seek the Water of Life. After traveling for two days, he reached a dense forest where he encountered a dwarf. Hello! I hear someone approaching. Can you help me? Where does this voice come from? Please help, if you can hear me. How did you get trapped behind inside this cage? A witch used her evil power to trap me here. Can you free me by cutting the shackles of this cage, please? And Harry pulled out his sword to free the dwarf. The dwarf thanked him and asked Harry to join him for dinner. But Harry said that he was in a hurry and left to continue his quest. After traveling further, Harry stopped hearing a groaning sound. He followed the sound to find an old and ailing lion. Oh Lord, he looks so frail and weak. He must be hungry. I may be getting late, but I can't leave him in this state. Harry fed loaves of bread to the lion and left his entire ration for the lion. He rode on further in search of the water of life. Harry was now hungry and starving, but he continued on his quest. He rode through piercing wind, he rode through heavy snow, and finally he made it to the cave above which the moon shone brightly. Hungry and thirsty, Harry fell unconscious at the entrance of the cave. 
Perry. Wake up. Wake up, Perry. You... How come you are here? I am no sage. I am an angel who could not see you weeping and appeared in the guise of a sage. I am pleased to see a kind soul who selflessly stopped to help beings in need. Here is the water of life. Drink some to regain strength and carry the rest for your father. Harry drank the water of life and regained his strength. He thanked the angel and carried the rest for his ailing father. Back in the kingdom, Miranda's potion had nursed the king back to health. The king was impressed with William and decided to make him the king. But where is Harry? I did not see him for a week. How insensitive can a son be to not be around when his father is ailing? William took advantage of the situation and instigated the king to get Harry arrested for his irresponsibility. Father, he does not care. He doesn't care about you, me, or the kingdom. I suggest we put him behind the bars for some time to teach him a lesson. Meanwhile, Harry was relieved to have returned to the palace with the water of life. But unknown to him, William had other plans. Arrest him immediately and put him behind bars. But brother, what have... You deserve no explanation. Ah! Come along. The new king will be announced today. Everyone is invited to the palace arena. Hooray! Hooray! We have a new king. It must be Prince Harry. He is a kind soul. Harry was locked in the cell where he sat sadly, dejected and hurt that his own brother had imprisoned him. Why would he not give me a chance to speak? Suddenly, he was startled by a loud noise. You! How did you enter here? I am here to free you. But how did you know? We don't have time for that now. Let's escape quickly! But this palace is heavily guarded. Don't worry. There is someone to take care of the guards. Let's go! Save us! There is a lion! Save us! There is a lion! Save us! There is a lion! Come this way! As Prince William was about to be crowned the king, the king started feeling uncomfortable and fell on the floor. What happened to the king? Oh no! We thought he had recovered! What have you given? My father is ailing again. You wretched woman, you deceived me! How dare you! You wanted your father alive only so that you can be crowned as the king. And now you are blaming me! Don't you raise your voice. I will get you arrested. You will get me arrested? <laughs> It's the witch Sabrina! I've heard she's very powerful. Yes, she is. Run for your lives! You have no idea about my powers. I will... <laughs> Sabrina, it is payback time. <sighs> Father, please drink this. The king drinks the water and immediately feels better. He gets up on his feet at once. Thank you, son. I'm feeling better. What is it that you have given me? Harry explained to his father everything and told him why he wasn't around when he was in bed. Hearing this, the king was ashamed. Forgive me, son, for I misunderstood you. It's okay, father. You are in good health. That's most important for me. William came forward, too. Oh, brother, forgive me too, for I was under the spell of the witch and did not know what I was doing. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Give me a hug, like the good old days. And so the brothers hugged each other. The king smiled. Soon, William and Harry were both announced as kings. They would rule the kingdom together and ensured that witches like Miranda stayed far away. Long live our kings! Long 